I'm the dumbest person on the planet. Today's video is brought to you by Casetify. Stick around to find out how to save 15% off your order. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. Sorry if I'm a little bit squeaky still in this video. My lungs and my throat are still attempting to recover from whatever the heck I had. But I am excited to get on into today's advent calendar, which is upside down. Hold on. It's from MAC. I don't remember. Did we do a MAC advent calendar last year? I actually have no recollection if we did or not. I do, however, remember doing the MAC advent calendar from years ago when we got the keychain. And now anytime I get a keychain inside of an advent calendar, I'm like, it's a keychain. And that's just some like repressed uh, memories and hurt from, you know, it was several years ago. <laughs> I went and got rid. It looked too lonely back there. All right, so let's go ahead and really quickly get a price on this advent calendar. As you guys know, there's no way I remember how much all these advent calendars cost. Did I pay that much for it? Oh no. <laughs> Good. Okay, good. Uh, this is what I'm looking at right here. It says that it is a $195 admin calendar. I don't remember that. I don't recall paying that much money for this. I must have blacked that one out. However, it does say it has a $464 value, so that is not bad. I am excited to see what is in here. I'm hoping it's a little bit different than the MAC advent calendars of the past. Something just a little bit more exciting. It comes in a very pretty red festive outer packaging. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's leaking. Oh, this came out of it. <laughs> I have no idea what day this came out of. Ooh, spinny. Well, this is kind of fun. It looks like a cake or a hat box. And I'm assuming this inner portion comes out because it was spinning. Maybe not. Is there some kind of trick to this? Okay, it's real pretty, but I can't get it out. Oh no, it's leaking everywhere. Are you kidding me? All right, I feel like that was a little bit more complex than it needed to be. I'm gonna use this as a stool. Oh, it's like a lazy Susan. Look at you go, Susan. I'm just gonna set this right down here and then when we get to a day that doesn't have a product in it, we'll just open that one. I think that sounds like a pretty good plan because I have no idea which day it came out of. Also, I feel like it's gonna take me years, just ages to actually find all the numbers on this little rotating uh, lazy Susan here. But we have located day number one, so let's go ahead and, oh dear, okay. Let's go ahead and get on into it. So this feels like it could be a decent size something. Let's see what we've got here. Ooh, okay, that's kind of exciting. I feel like we're off to a pretty good start already. This is a powdered kiss liquid lip color. The shade also looks really nice. This is in the shade Mull It Over. Oh, well it smells lovely and I'm sure it looks beautiful on the tip of my nose. Since I've already decided to go ahead and just root off myself here on the end of my nose, I guess I can try on the color. Uh, I would wipe off the rest of the color that's already on my lips, but it's a stain, so it's pretty good and on there. Uh, oh, <laughs> why does it look like that? Okay, so here it is on, and I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. It goes on very interestingly. It's super smooth. It does feel li like there's powder, like there's powder just kind of mixed with a lipstick on my lips. It's a little like mushy and kind of spongy. It's a very interesting texture, but the color of it, uh, to me personally, I was like, oh, it's going to be a nice dusty rose, and then I put it on and it's like orange terracotta. I don't know how well you guys can see that color or this camera's picking it up, but it, it's fairly orange. It's a, it's a little orange. Like, look at that. On this black piece of tissue paper, it looks like Halloween. It feels so good, though. It feels very smooth. I feel like I'm a very um, underwhelming DJ. Okay, day number two is up next here. Let's see what we got. This feels like a little squeezy tube. I'm gonna assume it's a primer. I I, I just feel it in my bones. It's like the primer. I feel it in my fingers. Oh, it's a lip glass. Lip gloss just sounds like you're saying lip gloss with a strange accent. Um, so yeah, we just have a very clear, glassy looking lip gloss. You get 0.2 fluid ounces of it and it is, it's not for individual sale. Of course it's not because it's a tiny little thing lip gloss. I'm the dumbest person on the planet. Why did I, no, why did I not expect that to happen? Shucks, 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 shucks. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna have to, pre yeah, I don't, I don't even know. Okay, <laughs> I've recovered at least three items from the floor. I have no idea how many I've flung out of there in like the dumbest move I could have possibly done. <sighs> Well, I shouldn't start filming at 10 p.m. at night. I barely have any sense during the daytime hours. I just become a less functioning human the later it gets in the day. Oh, that's the first day. That's day one. And that's day two. Does this even have a hole? I'm not sure if there's any coming back from that. We're gonna try. Okay, day number three. All right, the next item we have in here is a Mac Prep and Prime. I don't really, I don't know what this is. Is this like for your lashes, for your lips? Okay, Prep and Prime lips. So I guess this is a lip primer. Um, It just looks kind of like a very white Balm. However, I'm assuming it would go on clear and it just probably gives your lips some like hydration and stuff, prepares them for lipsticks. It also smells kind of vanilla-y. And number four is up next here. Oh, there's actually something inside of it. That's good. 
Oh, okay. So the next thing we have in here is a waterproof liner. I wasn't anticipating this being a liner. I honestly thought it was going to be yet another brow gel. Because we just, it's so many brow gels. <laughs> this is in the shade Point Blot. Oh, that's liquidy. Yep, yeah, that is liquid for sure. I haven't had a liquid liner like this in years. I used to use one that I got like just at the drugstore. I think it was from Maybelline. It was like in a little gray bottle. I used it like literally every day and I would go through like one a week. Because I went to high school from like 2006, 2000. 10. You know how much black eyeliner I wore in that time? But I haven't worn an eyeliner like this in years with like the little brush tip to it. Oh my gosh. How do, how do you even do this? That is a thick line. And back in the day, I, I did like a nice thick line, a nice big old black chunky wing. But now I don't think I wear my liner that thick and you really can't get it like much more thin with this little brush. Back when I was attempting to look like a raccoon on a daily basis, it would have been perfect. <laughs> Before we move on, I would love to show you guys what today's sponsor, Case Defy. Case Defy is the world's most popular tech accessory brand known for their protective phone cases and their global collaborations. Their bounce cases provide extreme protection. These cases are powered by eco shock impact absorption tech and are six times the military standard and they are drop tech tested 156 times. Plus, the bounce case offers 21 feet of drop protection. Not only do they provide serious protection, they're also super cute. There are more than 2,000 designs available, plus there are customization options. Look how cute this little Boston Terrier case is. It looks just like Rin. Their clear cases are also perfect for low profile durable protection. They are anti-yellowing and have long lasting clarity with UV Defender technology. These low profile cases also exceed military standards and have a 6.6 .6 foot drop protection. Even though the clear cases are super slim, they also have tactile buttons and a comfy grip. And what's also so cool about Case Defy is they have an artist program with exclusive partnered artists and diverse global partners that work to support artist communities. So go ahead and check out Case Defy. Case Defy's bounce cases and clear cases are available at casetify.com. Be sure to go to casetify.com slash Alex Ryan today to get 15% off your order. All right, day number five is up next here. Oh, this one isn't wrapped up. Oh, look at that. That's a fun looking thing. This is a super unique looking tube, but this is the Mac Stack. Oh, it's a mascara. Oh, I remember getting a little sample of this. The mess of the The tube is actually a super fun looking. <laughs> That's the most Flo Nae smelling mascara I've ever sniffed in my entire life. But uh, yeah, this is, you know, it's an interesting little stick. It's got a lot of excess mascara there on the tip of it. it looks like a little claw. I honestly want to try this out because I think the tube looks kind of fun. And th that's the only reason. I don't even like those types of wands, but I'm like, oh, the packaging. Alrighty, day at number six is up next here. Let's see what we got. Is this a, a full size potentially lipstick? I think it is. Oh, chili, yum. So next item in here is a full-size lipstick in the shade Chili. I'm wondering if it's gonna be like a bright red shade. I feel like most of the lipsticks inside Advent calendars are always bright red. Ooh, okay, not bright red, um, but it is definitely a red type shade. That's really pretty, I do like that. Um, I feel like it might be a little bit too intensely red for me personally, and I really don't wanna waste this lipstick, but it's a really pretty shade. I feel like how it's showing up on camera, it is basically just bright red, but in person it looks like it has more of like a kind of spicy base to it. I don't know if spicy makes any sense. I think I'm just running with chili. It has more of like a warm kind of like brick tone base to it uh, rather than just like a straight bright red but I do think it's really pretty and I'm really happy that it's a full size so that's nice. Alrighty, day at number seven is up next here. Oh, okay, it's a little bit of a different shape. That's exciting. Uh, okay, so we have what I'm going to assume is one of the first eyeshadows we're going to receive inside of this box here. This one, it does look like it maybe have been through, been, been, been through some things. It's a little bit scratched up, banged up, dirty, just, you know, a little bit, Um, but there is a good chance that it was just like mercilessly, just like flung out of this advent calendar because some real intelligent person thought they should just spin it like a salad spinner. A centrifugal force just did what it does and just flung product around the room. Uh, so there is a chance, this is my fault, this is in the shade What Clout. It is a powder kiss eyeshadow and I think the shade's actually really pretty. This just looks like a regular standard everyday kind of shade for me. Um, I typically only wear a, like a bronzy look on my eyelids every day. So yeah, this is kind of perfect. And let's use the word look just very loosely. It's just a little bit of bronzer just like smashed onto my eyelid. That's, that's the look that I go for every day. And number eight is up next here. Let's see what we got. I'm feeling another squeezy tube of some sort. Ha. Next thing we have in here is a strobe cream. And I don't know, is that, for some reason, I cannot recall what it is. Is it a highlighter? Pink light strobe cream. I actually do not know. I'm gonna assume it is a highlight though. Um, I personally don't really use like creamy type highlights, so I probably will not be testing this out today. But uh, yeah, that's the next item in here. And number nine over here is in a larger door. Oh, look at that. 
it. There she is. There it is. Okay, of course, it had to be in here because it's it's in every single advent calendar. <laughs> the next thing we have in here, I'm gonna assume is just a clear brow gel. Yeah, clear brow gel. I don't know what else I thought it could have been. Let's smell this one to see how strong it is. Also incredibly strong. What the heck are they putting in brow gel? Does regular hair gel smell that strong? I personally don't know because I can't use hair gel. I would look like a drowned rat if I put hair gel on my head. But this is so strong. What is in this? I do like the bubbles and I like that you can see the bubbles and for some reason I think that's kind of nice. <laughs> it's just the little bubbles inside of the tube. Moving on here to day number 10. Ooh, this also feels like it could be. No, okay. I thought we might have another full size lipstick in here but this actually feels different. Different. Oh, okay, so we have something else from the MAC Prep and Prime line. This is the essential oils. I don't think I've ever heard of this before. Is this like a skincare item? Grapefruit and chamomile. Okay, that doesn't smell too bad. It's a bit dripping. It's dripping everywhere. It gives me absolutely no other information besides grapefruit and chamomile. So I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming this is some type of skincare item or maybe you like mix it into like a foundation or something to make it more dewy. I don't, I don't really know. It feels oily. Yeah, it, it definitely, it does indeed feel oily. Yeah, oh my gosh, it feels oily. Day at number 11 is next over here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, is this another lipstick? Oh, okay, so I do think this is a miniature lipstick and I'm kind of sad that they put this shade in a mini size and not a full size because this is the MAC Velvet Teddy and that's like w one of the only MAC lipsticks I know. I think this actually was like my first fancy lipstick. I was very excited. I went to the Fayette Mall in Lexington, Kentucky. I went to the MAC counter inside of the Macy's and I bought myself a Velvet Teddy $18 lipstick and I just thought I was something else. I do actually really like this color still. I think anyway, let me see. Maybe. <laughs> I, do, I think I do like this color, but I do wish that they had given it to us in a larger size because for me personally, this is a more wearable color than like the chili one. Oh yeah, I do still like it. Okay, so this color I do think is very nice. It's very wearable. It's just like a muted kind of pink nude, Um, but I think it is a very nice color. This is in the matte formula. Actually, I don't know if I've ever tried tried this in a different formula. I feel like I might prefer it if they had like a satin or a glossy lip. I don't really wear like matte lipsticks too much anymore, but uh, yeah, I, I like this color. I just wish that we had like a big in in this one. Alrighty, day number 12. Let's go ahead and see what is in here. It's very shoved in the back. Ooh, okay. I feel like we might have another eyeshadow on our hands. And we do. I feel like all these have just like been through some stuff. I don't know. They're just like super scratched up for some reason. That sounds like a nightmare. This is in the shade Naked Lunch, which just sounds like a, a bad dream I would have. You know, you're sitting at the Wendy's or something and you're trying to enjoy your, your grilled chicken sandwich and your baked potato with chili on it and you look down, you're not wearing any pants. That Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. What a strange name. Anyway, this is a frost eyeshadow. It is just a very kind of neutrally beigey looking shadow. I don't know. Not very exciting, but I'm sure a lot of people could get use out of it because it is just like so neutral. Moving on here to day number 13. Let's go ahead and see what we got. We have some type of cylindrical tube. Ooh, this is different. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this product from MAC before. This is the Glow Play, some type of like lip product, I'm assuming. It's in the shade That Tickles. I'm assuming they're thinking like, oh, that tickles, like it's so flirty and stuff. But for me, that tickles, if I'm saying that, those are fighting words. Like I'm ready to throw hands. Don't, oh, don't tickle me. I can't control myself from being tickled. I like that shade. It's barely a shade. It's super, super sheer. But I personally really like that. I just like a little like kiss of color on the lips with some like hydration. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this color off. How nice of them to give us tissues to remove our makeup with in the advent calendar. Oh, I actually really like that. I think that's really nice. This might be my favorite thing in the advent calendar so far. That went on so nice and smoothly. You can build it up a little bit to get some more color on your lips. I really like the color. It's nice and sheer. It looks super natural. And uh, yeah, I like that. Day at number four, oh, come back. Day number 14 is up next here. Tiny little skinny stick. That's just gray. Okay, so the next thing we have in here is another lip gloss. This one is in a very different shade than the first one that we looked at. This one is just like um, a corpse shade. <laughs> it's just so very brown gray. Yeah, that's just straight like gray. I just, I feel like I would look absolutely dead if I put that on my lips. Something about like a kind of brown, kind of gray, kind of purple lip gloss. I just don't think, I just don't think would go well. <laughs> Alrighty, a 15 is up next here. Let's see what we got. This looks like a pretty long tube. Oh, 
Oh, is this another full-size product? Oh, I thought for sure this was gonna be a mascara, but this is actually another lip color. It is a liquid lip color in a very, very intense red shade. The packaging of this is really pretty, kind of like nice and holiday. It goes well with the box. This is in the shade E is for effortless, and I, I don't know about you guys, but I've never felt less effortless in my entire life than when I try to wear a red lip. Like any of the three times I've ever put on a red lip and like gone out into the public, I'm very aware of like my lips are red and that people can see my mouth. Can I do it? Should I just go ahead and put it on? I'm just gonna put it on. Why not? Ooh. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of lipstick on my teeth. Oh, it stains. It stains pretty good. Yeah. All right, you guys. I actually, I think it's kind of beautiful. I think it's kind of a beautiful red shade. I really do. It's like nice and deep and rich red. I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit more on like the fuchsia red side, but it's actually, it's, it's a beautiful shade. It really is. I just don't, I don't think I'll ever wear it. And it's all over my teeth. It is, it's everywhere. It's a super comfortable formula. I don't know if it's going to dry down or anything. It might just stay like kind of liquidy on here, which is very dangerous for me. This will be covering my entire face and body by the end of this video. I know it will. And the fact that it just like very much so stains makes it all the more better. But I do think it's a really pretty color, but I, I, I know I'm not going to wear this. Where am I going to wear this to? I leave the house maybe once a week. Day number 16 is up next here. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's another lipstick. Huh. Oh my gosh, it is another lipstick and it looks like it is a full size. This one is in the shade Russian Red. <laughs> oh boy, like I need any more red lipstick. All right, so we have a, another red lipstick here. Uh, this one does look like it would be a very beautiful red as well. I feel like it does look a little bit more on like the purpley red side. It's a little bit more like eh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> like a burgundy red. I don't know why eh, it came out of burgundy red but yeah so it's a little bit more on like the purpley side. Again um, I don't think I'm gonna get a ton of use out of one red lipstick so I feel like I don't want to go ahead and swatch an entire another one but I do hope if we get any more lipsticks in here we're gonna kind of switch away from red a little bit because that's that's a lot of red lipsticks to get in one advent calendar so hopefully we'll see some other shades besides red. Alrighty a 17 is up next here. Looks like we have another eyeshadow. This one looks the least maned out of all the eyeshadows. This is in the shade Espresso and I like this one. I do like me a brown. This looks like a really pretty shade. This one is just a matte eyeshadow. Oh it looks like it actually swatches pretty well as, as well so that's good. Moving right along here to day 18. Okay we got another thick tube here. What could this be? This is a the 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 the, the, the this is a fix spray. You know, the fix, the, the fix spray, <laughs> the Mac fix spray. Fix plus, <laughs> that's the one Mac fix plus. Moving right along to 19 and there's no paper and it just popped right out. Day number 19 here, it's looking like we have a very standard, just black eyeliner. This is the Graph Black Technicol liner. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just a little twist up black liner, just super, super simple. Day number 20 is up next here. I feel like we're getting so many more full size things than we have before from Mac calendars in the past. Besides this one, but this is this one I don't think is a full size. <laughs> I do, however, think it is another lipstick, and I'm gonna be interested in seeing if it's something else that's red. This is in the shade Myrrh. Just M-E-H-R, so I have absolutely no idea what that could mean. It's not red! Yay! Okay, so the next item we have here is just a little lipstick. This time it's in like a pinky kind of purpley shade. Just in like kind of a mauve shade or, you know, perhaps a, a myrrh shade. I don't, what is myrrh? This is also a matte lipstick and like it honestly, none of these look like matte lipsticks. You know what I mean? Like that looks so shiny and glossy, but apparently it's matte. I know that I said I didn't want any more reds, but I don't really wear pinks either. And I, is this pink? I don't know. Let's just swatch it. Let's just go ahead and swatch it. Yeah, that's pink. Okay, yeah, that's definitely mauve pink. That's probably a shade that I really wouldn't get a ton of use out of and now I feel bad for swatching it unfortunately uh but yeah it's not red moving right along here to day 21 I feel well another eyeshadow okay Ooh, sparkly okay so the next one we have here is in the shade oh so glitzy this is a dazzle eyeshadow and just kind of like a light kind of champagne and gold I don't know that looks real nice that looks real pretty and shimmery I feel like this would be a really easy shade just to like kind of throw on the lid to give a little you know glitz and glitz on to your face. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it swatches fine. It is kind of like shimmery and pretty. It's not very intense though. I was hoping for more of like that golden kind of glitter, but the glitter actually falls off very easily and you're just kind of left with like a little bit of like a lustry shadow underneath. So it's, it's kind of pretty. It's actually prettier like on the swatching finger than it is actually on the swatch. A22 is up next here. We're getting to the end of this calendar. We have another little skinny stick. Oh, we have another lip glass. This one's looking a little bit on the rough side. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that up there, but like it's definitely 
definitely very broken up and kind of separated. It just looks like a very pale pink little lip gloss with some like kind of golden luster to it. 24, 23, can't count, <laughs> is up next here. Ooh, this has a little bit of weight to it. What the heck? Pro Long Wear Paint Pot. That sounds kind of fun. Oh my goodness, it's gold. Holy guacamole, it's gold. You know, I said I didn't know where I was gonna wear a red lip to. Where on earth am I wearing this gold eye paint to? I'm gonna be turning looks at the Kroger or, you know, the Taco Bell drive through I just don't wanna shove my finger into it. How do you, how do you put this on? Paint pot. I guess I need like a paintbrush. That'll do. Nothing's happening. <laughs> I kind of thought I would just dip it in and it would be like liquid gold. Get in there. I'm ruining this. Oh my goodness, I'm ruining it. Oh, beautiful. <gasps> I feel like one of the golden painted men from the Barnman and Bailey Circus. That's actually super pretty. It is very reflective. It picks up the light really nicely, but I just, I, what, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> Part of me just really wants to just slap on like a big gold eye right now with this red lip. Okay, cool. I feel like we're getting some different stuff that we haven't received in a Mac Avid calendar before. So I'm, I am still kind of excited about this calendar. I don't know like at the end if I'm gonna like reflect, look back and be like, was this worth $200? I, I don't know. We're like, a few days away though. So let's go ahead and finish it out and then we'll, we'll take a moment to reflect. Or dang, is this only a 24 day advent calendar? I guess this is the last day. All right, so I think this is actually the last day inside of this advent calendar, day number 24. Let's see what we've got. We have another full size lipstick. This one looks shiny. Ooh, okay, I'm, I, I'm again, I'm excited. So this is a C Sheer Luster Glass Lipstick. And like I said, I've been really enjoying kind of just like a barely there color on the lips. And look how shiny the packaging is, that's nice. So I'm really hoping this is a pretty shade. Okay, okay, that could be promising, could definitely be promising. No, oh, okay, maybe, ah. Looking at it a little bit more close up now, it does look like a very rosy shade, which isn't, isn't my favorite, Um, but I feel like I have to swatch this anyway. Okay, yeah, unfortunately, I feel like this is gonna be probably a little bit too pink for me. If it was a little bit more sheer, more sheer than this is, um, I feel like I would like it, but since it is fairly pigmented, or being a sheer formula, I feel like it might just be a little bit too on the pink side for me. I guess I could wipe off my red lip and try it on my mouth. But I kind of like my red lips now. Oh, that's right, it stains. I think my lips are gonna be like bright magenta no matter what I do. This is with the red lip color fully wiped off. <laughs> it's fully gone and it's um very, very red. Okay, maybe it's not fully gone, but it's mostly gone. Are you sure about that? Are you sure it's mostly gone and not just mostly on your chin? I guess I could see what this feels like on the lips. I'm definitely not gonna get the true shade out of it, but we can see if it's like nice and soft. That actually feels quite lovely on the lips. That feels really nice and smooth. Again, I feel like it's gonna be, once my very hot pink stained lips are gone, I feel like it's gonna be probably just, just a little bit too pink for me, but I feel like this is a type of lipstick from MAC that I could actually really like, and I might seek out some other shades to see what they have. Okay, now that I am a stain head to toe, I think we are done with all of the days in the advent calendar. I'm just gonna give it a little shimmy shake just to make sure there's not like a hidden keychain in here or anything. Maybe we could just give it like another one of these and see if anything falls out. No, I think we're good. Alright, you guys, so just, oh dear. This might not be the best vessel to show you guys things in. So this is everything kind of all together. This is what the $195 got me. Um, I do honestly think that this is a vast improvement from the advent calendars from MAC that I remember from the past. I feel like we have a lot more full size items in here and some more like unique interesting items. That gold paint pot, the uh, little whatever the heck this is, but I really like it. This liquid lip, we have, you know, different types of MAC lipsticks in here. I feel really and truly like this is an improvement. Is it worth the $200? <laughs> Maybe not because you know, a lot of this stuff I personally am not gonna get a ton of use out of. I could just go into MAC and buy like what I liked. But I feel like there was some improvement made. I don't know, maybe it's just me. You guys can let me know what you all think down below in the comments, but I think there's some improvement here. I feel like I've been nicer to advent calendars recently. I don't know if it's all like the medicine that I'm on and I'm just kind of like, woo. Or if the calendars are actually like halfway decent. Like I did a Sephora advent calendar and it wasn't, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen, which you know, that's unusual. So anyway, that is everything for the MAC advent calendar for 2022. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you think I'm just crazy to think that this is an improvement from years past. I would be very interested in hearing all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments, but before you go, be sure to stick around for a special bonus unboxing.
Alright you guys, that is everything I have for you all today. Thank you so very much for watching. Please go ahead and consider subscribing if you would not mind. It would mean the absolute world to me. And I hope you guys have a lovely, wonderful, fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye!